I just got a check engine light in my Toyota Corolla. So today we're going to use an OBD scanner to check what the problem is. And um, let me show you how to clear that code as well if it's something that is easy to fix. So what I'm going to be using is this product called AutoFix. This is uh, from Amazon. It's a Bluetooth OBD2 um, scanner. And this is the box. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to download the app and connect it to my phone and put this thing into the car and scan it. So let's go ahead and do that. So the OBD uh, port is usually uh, located by your driver's side. So I'm going to go over here and I think this one here is right there. Okay, so I'm going to just plug this thing in. So right now you have that red light so let me go ahead and download the app okay so to download the app just go to your app store so I'm using an Android just click on auto fix 3210 app and once you find it just click install So let me open the app now. So just say I'll agree. So your auto fix is going to need to use your Bluetooth and also you're going to need an Android 6 and above. So say I agree. Okay, and you can see right now it uh, connected. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a diagnostic so let me go ahead and um, start the vehicle and if I look under uh, I can see right now that the light is green so let's go ahead and do a vehicle self check So it found that uh, trouble code number two. Let's see what that is. Okay, so there are a couple of errors. So let's go ahead and look at those. I am readiness. It's good. Let's go back. Trouble code. Okay, so it's there's an evaporation system leak, very small leak. So most likely this is going to be a gas cap. Let me see what that is. Yep, it says uh, missing or loose fuel cap, incorrect fuel filter cap used, fuel filler cap remains open or failed to close, foreign matter caught in the fuel cap. Okay, so that's a good sign. So let me go ahead and check this one. So missing loose or fuel cup. So it's the same thing. So I want to see the other uh, errors here. Okay, so it looks good right here. Let me go check the other one. Onboard monitoring test. Okay, so that's really nothing. Okay, let me go to the evap system. So it's always about the evap system. So let's go back now. Yes. And usually when you get the evap system leak, the problem is mostly with your fuel cap. And um, usually that happens when you recently filled up your uh, gas tank and my wife told me that she uh, filled up the gas tank the day before she gets the uh, check engine light and so 
I was telling her it's probably just the fuel cap so what I did is I just uh, reset it so I open the fuel cap and then close it again uh, when you do that you don't really have to clear the code because the code is gonna uh, clear itself after a number of miles that you drive it I think you need to drive at least 40 50 miles before that code will clear or maybe a couple of uh, start and uh, stop um, scenario so but since I already have this device here what I'll do is I'm going to clear the code so once you are in the dashboard just click on diagnostic so let me do that right now and click on the trouble code so once you're here you can actually do a rescan or a clear code and I'll just click on clear code I'm not sure I don't think you'll be able to see let me see if I can get my other phone to record the check engine light if it'll go away so let me go ahead and click on clear code now that, uh, so you can see right now uh, after clearing the code that the check engine light is now gone so what I'm gonna do is basically just observe this for a couple of days just to make sure that the um, code doesn't come back so if it doesn't come back then we're good if uh, if it does come back then there's probably another uh, leak somewhere I hope you found this video helpful and please make sure to click the like and subscribe button to help my channel. Thank you.